got loads of West Ham fans calling us up to share in the celebrations as the team go up to lift the playoff final trophy. Steve's waiting to talk to us. I would imagine he's watching Kevin Nolan about to lift the trophy. Good afternoon, Steve. Sorry, mate. I was watching the Hearts and Hibs game there. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> well, Kevin Nolan is lifting the player final trophy. Uh, West Ham are the winners of uh, the championship player final against Blackpool. They've beaten them by two goals to one. Carlton Cole scoring first. Thomas Ince, son of Paul Ince, equalising. And then Ricardo Veste scoring in the final few minutes to make it 2-1. There are bubbles floating all over Wembley Stadium. And Kevin Nolan has just lifted the trophy. They've been... They're passing it down the line. David Sullivan, the co-owner, and David Gold, both standing, absolutely overcome. It's a wonderful day to be a West Ham fan. How are you feeling at the moment? I'm absolutely ecstatic. Do you know? I mean, I'm kind of lost for words at the minute. Just watching the whole game, it was a, a true emotional roller coaster. You know, what the playoff finals are really for us. I remember, obviously, that's our third one in four years now. We've been fortunate to win two of them, lost one. But um, it was just crazy. We were very fortunate today. Let's not take anything away from Blackpool. But um, I'll take that luck. I'll take the win. Yeah, the likes of Jeff Hurst and uh, Trevor Brooking at Wembley Stadium to see the feet. And uh, the chaps in the studio were saying, all important to go up this year because next year the championship will be one of the toughest ever to be promoted from. The championship as it stands, you know, is such a great standard of football. That's why so many people watch it. It's tough to get out of. I mean, people talk about taking the playoff system out. I think the playoff system is such a... It makes the league even more inciting, you know. It's, it's just such a, a great... Uh, like knockout tournament sort of thing although it could be unfair say for instance as a West Ham fan I could have been bitter that we were 15 points clear or whatever and we never got promoted but I'm all for the playoffs I think it just adds that aspect and drive to, to the league yeah the, the bookies make you even money to go straight back down next season after you know obviously I'm not taking away from it, the glory we celebrate this already but uh, what, <laughs> are, what areas do you think does the West Ham need to strengthen to get in the, for the Premier League next season well, didn't they say that about Norwich and Swansea? Don't they say it every year about teams that get promoted? Um, personally, up front, we need to work on... We need to, you know, get some signings. Don't get me wrong, Camp Cole's a good player. He's one of these players that when he's confident and he's in goal-scoring form and the fans are behind him, he plays really well. Um, but if you're going to just play with one up front, or as Sam likes to call it, this diamond that he's playing with, you need... I think he needs to scrap that or have a bit more strength and depth. You know, we've got young Bulldog, and, you know, I don't think these boys are going to get a look in in the Premiership, really. I hope they can still remain squad players and see us through, but there, we need to strengthen at the back again. Um, in the midfield, we're fortunate. You know, I think Nolan and Noble could cut it in, in the Premiership. Uh, Taylor, I'm not so sure, you know, and on the wings. But I don't want us to make the mistake we made last season, you know. But I think we were in the top three or four. Uh, teams had the, the highest wage bill, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yes, sir, I think it, you it was were. crazy money we were paying out. Well, Steve, who would you like to see at the club? Um, how, how much money are we talking about here? Well, I mean, to be fair, and I was saying to the chaps earlier, speaking to David Sullivan earlier this week, he was telling me that they were really ambitious. They tried for loan moves for the likes of Tevez and Torres and all sorts of players, Lukaku at Chelsea. So... I would imagine they'd be just as ambitious so that they could stay up again, maybe take players on loan. On that basis, who would you like to see? Well, on a realistic term, I think it would be good if we could like cannibalise some of the clubs that have gone down. You know, you like to see your Pedersons. Uh, you know, Blackpool are taking some good... Um, Black, sorry, Blackburn are taking some players with them. Bolton have got some quality players that are walking away. Maybe even Nigel Riacoca could come back. You know, there's... There's that aspect of players, you know, that could remain affordable. But, you know, when you're talking... Because it's the Euro tournament as well, that's always going to overinflate people's prices. But then it can also go against them. If someone has a bad tournament, you can pick up a pick up a bargain. Mm. Mm, I'll throw a couple of names to you. I think, I think the Jarvis from Wolves could be a good signing for you. Mm. Yeah, he's a great player. Uh, and, uh, and I think, I think Florian Maluda from Chelsea. I think, he, 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 I think he'll, be a, uh, he'll be a yeah. player we're looking to move in the summer. Want to stay in London. I think West Ham could, could do a lot worse than Biden. I think he'll do a good job for a team like West Ham. Stay ahead of the game with Sports Tonight Live. Don't miss a thing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Search for Sports Tonight Live on Facebook and like our fan page. Follow Sports Tonight TV on Twitter and tweet us your thoughts and opinions. Sports Tonight Live, it's the platform for the fans.